like I'm gonna show you guys how you can do it just with like a fine tip marker you can write whatever word you want in this case I'm going to do happy because that's a nice word to draw and you don't even have to um, I'm gonna show you in a little bit and for the word happy I'm just gonna write it in brush lettering cursive you can do it in normal cursive if you'd like I'm gonna do it in brush lettering cursive there's really no difference except for the P's and you might want to like make your things a little bit more whimsical and this is definitely a very easy way so as you can see I just drew a happy like nothing fancy but then you just want a spot where it goes up you leave it and then where it goes down you make it thick and you can draw like a little box indicating that and like you can kind of and then just indicate I've been doing this for a while now so I know kind of where it goes down and where it's up stroke and down stroke but you can even look back at your paper like don't be ashamed to do that everyone does and then you can leave it like that if you'd like. I mean, it's a pretty cool design. You can even like draw stripes. It's a cool design. For this, in this case, since I'm showing you guys how you can make it look like normal brush lettering, I'm going to color it in. But you can keep it. Lots of people do that, and like, it's a really cool style. Okay, so again, it's not perfect. Oh well, it's fine. But um, I'm also gonna try using this um, white opaque pen to show y'all what I mean about how it can really enhance your drawings. So you can definitely do this wherever you'd like. I'm gonna do it, like you probably wanna wait for it to dry, oops. But probably wanna Okay, I'm just waiting for it to dry, but you probably want to um, do it where there is the marker so you can see clearly. And I got this at Michael's as well. Y'all are wondering. Okay, I'm just going to do this on normal paper to get it going. not working that great right now I think it's because it's still pretty wet but you can draw whatever design you can draw little dots I like doing dots a lot because they're simple easy and the, the res end result is really pretty and cute But yeah, this is a really fun way you can do it for beginners if you're just nervous to do the whole method because it can be um, can be kind of like hard at first. It can be very hard to kind of keep it still and learn how to do it correctly. But once you've got the hang of it, you can do both ways like whenever you like. Like I use the fake method all the time just because it's easier or for any reason. But and then you can always fix anything that you think is off or wrong or you want to make better. Okay. And I mean, the end result's pretty nice. 
I'd say. You can also do drawings around it. That's fine always. Yeah, it's always fun and I think the white pen really makes a difference in some cases because it can lighten things up a lot. Another really cool trick is this is especially good. You can use any Sharpie, fine point, whatever if you like, but I'm just going to be using this one because I have it right here. It's good for detail, but how you can give a backdrop. You can just easily do a backdrop just by um, putting it on one whole side of all the letters. You can make it dark and it kind of makes it look like there's a shadow. It's a pretty cool effect. Um, And and you can even do it on both sides if you like. It doesn't really matter. So that's a fun way. And then for the last thing. You can, I'm just gonna show you guys ways how I um, like to use my brush lettering. Cause it's not just to know, you can also use it in whatever ways. So this, I used it and this is my bullet journal and how I used it. Okay, so. This is an example of January calendar. Um, I did use brush lettering. I used markers to even do Sharpies and stuff to do some brush lettering. Um, this February one is also another example. But yeah, basically, the, these are all really cool ones of how you can use your brush lettering um, to make your bullet journals for drawings for people whatever you'd like, and that's all. Hope you enjoyed my channel and you liked my videos about um, how, and hopefully you can be really good at brush lettering and use these videos for your advantage. And bye.